Hello guys, I would like to introduce you 150 antipersonal mind of so Soviet production. It's currently made in Russia and in Bulgaria. This mine consists of the plastic body, two legs that offers many ways how to place it. Special tool for placing it in the trees, on the door frames and places like this. We have 700 grams of RDX plastic explosive that is in the back and toward the enemy we have a thick layer of cylinders in the plastic plastic mesh to create a solid mess out of the metal cylinders. There is by the documentation 485 cylinders. So this is great place where to place the Mono 50 anti-personal mine. We have like 50 meters straight down the road. It's like commonly used path, no big obstacles in the way, so yes, this place is great. So, placing the mine on the ground, we would unfold the legs. Push it to the ground, so we have solid base. Like so. And then here we have side. It's like little peep side and in the set there is actually additional side that you clap on this part and it gives you like a little bit better capability in aiming the mine. So you just lay behind the mine and through the peep side look at your target. It should not be too much up, too much down. We should have good distribution of the shrapnels inside. So, after placing and aiming the mine, we would insert the detonator. Here I have, here just for presentation, it would be like number 8 blasting cap, MD5, something like this. And you would have two wires that would go all the way to your position, to your blasting machine or to your battery. First you take your wires and you add them to the detonator. It's represented here by these two white stripes. So yes, first you connect those two wires to make sure if there is any electricity left in the cables and the detonator explodes in your hand, it doesn't explode inside the mine and kill you, yeah? And then you just place it into the nest. What you might do also, if you have long cables, to wrap them around, like one, two times as so. So, there would be no chance if you pull on the cable of the detonator jumping out. So you would just make one, two twists and then run the cable to your position or it should be already there usually. As always, camouflage is a very overlooked subject in the anti-personal minds world. So, always add some foliage. In city you just may throw just some used t-shirt over it and be done with it. But never be too lazy to add some camouflage. It might be something as rudimentary as this, but really, even this little stuff really works. This mine is upgrade of the Claymore mine, first encountered by the Soviets in Vietnam. The very key difference is that the layout of the cylinders inside give us much better distribution of the shrapnels. Basically the best effective range is something like 20 meters wide, 20 meters long and 4 meters high. With the Claymore mine it was something like 7 meters high, but it's just too much, yeah? Nothing is 7 meters long in that distance, in that most little radius. So they just decrease it by the organization of the cylinders inside, so it's 4 meters with the Mon 50, so we get much, much better density of the shrapnel, much more shrapnel per square meter in the Mon 50 antipersonal mines. Here we have front toward enemy, and here we have two nests for the detonators. So we can use combination devices. We can use like seismic device for one side. The seismic one, it's called VP13, so it runs little cable to the machine on the ground and we are sure that if somebody walked toward the mine, the mine explodes and then we can have command wire, like here, or trip wire. So really there is so much, so many possibilities how to make this mine even more dangerous. 
Be careful guys, this mine is the most commonly used in combination with the anti-lift devices because everybody like this mine, it's great for reconnaissance and for establishing any defensive position, most commonly on the command wire as here. And yes, so you would just place it all the way to the ground, put an anti-lift device under and if somebody want to pick it up, it explodes, right? And it's big, big explosion. It's 700 grams of plastic explosive, so it's no joke. When placing the Mono 50 anti-personal mine, you might have terrain with a lot of cover. So from tactical point of view, it's better to place the mine high. The same goes for city, but of course that's for obvious reasons. You have tall structures, stuff like this. For placing inside the city and anywhere on the trees, we have this device. It's like a multi-tool that help you place the mine in any way possible and impossible. This is how we place the mine onto the tree. Here we have C-clamp that we can use on door frames. Like when you're aiming the mine outside the building, you can clamp it even on tree branch, anything like that. When you want to, to put it on tree stump, you just take it as so, punch it in, make few twists like so then you take this screw downwards to make a more solid base for the mine so over time it just doesn't drop doesn't flop we add the tension now we have really good really solid base so then we have this head that help us to position the mine in three 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 sixty degrees no problem so we choose the orientation like this we add tension with the screw, so it's solid now. Then we have this socket on the body of the mine. So we just screw it on. Like so. And you can see, we can choose the ori orientation. We want it to end downhill. We add even more tension. And yes, we have all the path downwards secured now with the mine. We just add a Command wire for electric detonator, wrap it around, you might wrap it around the tree too and run it upwards to your position. So guys, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.